If you come back home to Newfoundland, put aside your city charm. Stop off at the fish plant in a place called Jobat's Arm. One of the things that I think is so kind of cool about this country is how far away everything is, but that can also be uh, one of its challenges. With Shorefest, we have a number of initiatives um, and economic development on Fogo Island, and we're really focused on community engagement and uh, social and economic projects that are community focused. And so I had sort of been watching Bose uh, as afar. Someone had flipped to me the public announcements um, about the company being sold back to its employees. And I watched that and I just I got chills and I saw it and I thought this is great. This is exactly the sense that we are trying to uh, develop with all of our projects on Fogo Island in terms of getting the community engaged in the growth of business and doing business a little bit differently. And so I, I had reached out to our executive team and I said these are people that have the same values and understand uh, a different way of approaching this so we really need to reach out and talk to them. As you see yourself kind of coming to the to Fogo Island by boat, it just uh, really cements you in the you know the, the reality of of, of life on this island. I guess we've been here forever, but no one really knew about it. It's amazing. Um, the people have been more than welcoming. This is our party on the road, hey? Whoa, that's not good. Pretty awesome right now. Everything's pretty, it's a pretty busy place compared to what it used to be. When we grew up here, we're, we're uh, the only thing we were waiting for is to get out of school to get away from here. And all the people that I know now, your dream is to get back here. It's pretty awesome. Home is where the heart is. Absolutely. The scenery is nothing short of beautiful and it's it's been a pretty eye-opening project thus far and I'm excited to see what happens with it. The recipe development, the, the initial concept in its most basic form came very quickly but it really wasn't until We'd spent a couple days here, we'd learned more about the culture, we'd learned more about the, the taste of the island. And this is the end product here. That is to die for. We could have never ever created this beer over Skype. On our first day here and we went to uh, Lion's Den, which is an area of the island that they like to go foraging in. And he showed us some of the places that they get the different herbs and berries that they use in some of their cooking and that they thought we might want to use in, a, in the beer. Oh my goodness. I think one of the things this recipe has for it is, uh, is that it's going to take more than just one element. Kind of started out with the base style of a goza because uh, I figured the saltiness of a goza would represent the island well since it's right on the ocean. And then um, wanted to incorporate smoke uh, into the character of the beer. So we're gonna smoke some of the malt with some myrrh that they're gonna collect off the uh, some trees on the island. To get kind of that depth of the island, myrrh, smoked together, it's gonna be incredible, just layers. And then we're gonna toast some birch bark uh, to give a bit of a toasty birch character. And we picked partridge berries uh, very unique taste and acidity. Yeah, like some of the smoke. It's, it's all sorts of things that are just definitely something that y you would have in your experience day to day here. The partridge berry, seeing it, seeing it grown and, and seeing it grown wild and harvested wild, you know, it's such an integral part of the, the beer. Um, it's also an integral part of the food on the island. Um, and it's, you know, it's paired with everything from, from sweets to uh, savory dishes. We do everything with it. I guess the, one of the staples of Fogo, very transferable flavor that you can use in so many applications. So beer, right there with you. Reflecting now on who we are, we are artists. Like, we build our own boats, we make our own, I don't, I couldn't make a quilt, but you talk to Mona or some of these ladies, but like, we are very creative, we are artists. Like, what is an artist, right? And now we get artists coming from all over the world and, um, you know, being inspired by our environment and our people and everything. I just love the idea. I think it's absolutely fantastic because, you know, I like the idea of, of us having our own, like, our stamp, our beer. I think it's fantastic. 
someone's almost transported to this place a little bit and they're getting a little bit of an idea or a flavor of like what it is to be here. This is a beer that ex is going to exist because we've come here and we've been able to make connections with people that, that live here, that understand being here. And we've been able to translate that into, I think, what is going to be an absolutely phenomenal beer and one that I'm going to be incredibly proud of. I think everyone at the brewery is going to be proud of. And in talking to people on the island, I think they're going to be proud of this too. Well, I'm waiting for a new beer to come out, actually. I've tried all the rest, but so I'm waiting for a good one. <laughs>